So I had quite a few people that sent me this in my email, been asking me to talk about this four-year-old boy by the name of James Dunkley, four years old. Beautiful little kid, smiling kid right here that you guys see on my screen. And there was some new information that came out, which I'm going to tell you guys about this. One of the saddest things I can possibly think of is a child suffering at the hands of their own parent and caretakers. It's by far the, the most sick thing that a child could ever have to deal with. And the way that this baby met his demise, just keep in mind, we're going to give you guys some details. But my content is a little bit different, so I got to give you a disclaimer. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. So let's go ahead and talk about this story, which comes out of New Mexico. And I'm getting this particular article from laurencrime.com. So thank you guys so much for the article. A 26-year-old mother in New Mexico is facing decades behind bars after formally admitting to her role in the horrific death of her four-year-old son who was brutally beaten to death by her roommate in 2019. So this is new information that's coming out. I want you all to keep that in mind. Krista Cruz. Let me see if I can get her disgusting face back up on the screen, which is on the far right-hand side. Krista Cruz on Wednesday conceded that she knowingly put her son in a deadly situation, pleading guilty to one count of abandonment of a child under 13 years old, resulting in death, two counts of child abuse, and one count of failure to report abuse in the slaying of young four-year-old James Dunkley. This baby right here, and that is some of the abuse. If you guys can see that, I don't know if you guys want me to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it, but hold on, I will do it. Hold on. Just so you guys can see that there was actually pictures of the abuse which means there was time that was time to save this baby the face says it all he looks miserable he looks scared he looks hurt he's completely defenseless and I just wonder who's going to cry for this little boy but who's going to cry for the children who are currently being abused? People see it and don't say anything. And I believe that has to be a crime. And I'm glad that they got it right in this case. Because I think that people who notice this type of thing is happening. Don't report it. Fail to report it. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing about it. Don't try to prevent it. Should be held just as liable for causing the end result that happened to this baby. Okay. So I want to be very clear about that. In a press release, the second judicial uh, district attorney's office said that James, the four year old boy, James, in December 2019, was severely beaten and did not survive his injuries. Zarek Marquez, who was babysitting James on the night the boy was beaten, pleaded guilty in 2022 last year to intentional child abuse resulting in death and was subsequently sentenced to life in prison. During the proceedings, Assistant District Attorney Savannah Braden Hercott told the court that young James was severely abused continuously leading up to the day of his death, according to Albuquerque, New Mexico, CBS Fox affiliate KRQE. Child abuse is what I see all day, every day. I see the worst of the worst and James was the worst of the worst it's the worst case I've been a part of but most important the most important case I've been a part of Cruz who was initially arrested in 2021 of December 
originally pled not guilty to one count of reckless, uh, reckless abuse of a child resulting in death before pleading to a lesser charge on Wednesday, court records show. She is facing a maximum sentence of 22 years in prison. But no matter how many years you give her, it's never going to bring this young soul back. It's never going to bring this baby back. So it's never, it's never going to be enough justice. According to a previous report, law enforcement authorities in December 10th of 2019 found James dead in Marquez's apartment where he and his mother had been staying. Authorities said that the boy had visible injuries and other injuries that appeared non-accidental. In an interview with police, Marquez reportedly claimed that James went, James went to the bathroom to check out and checked out his ear. When he returned from the restroom, and I almost thought that was about to be another bathtub story. I really did. He returned from the restroom. Marquez claimed the boy, I, I uh, claimed the boy said, I don't feel good, Dad. And then suddenly fell backwards and struck his head on the wall. They always blame it on the kids falling and hurting themselves. However, an autopsy reported confirmed what investigators had, had been suspecting. That James had been the victim of physical abuse for months before he was untimely beaten to death. He had reportedly suffered bruising and cuts all over his body. A lacerated liver and pancreas. Bruised lungs and large amounts of blood in his brain and abdomen. I don't understand how you could see a face like that. Let's back it up. What would make you want to beat this baby up? Beat him, hurt him, and kill him? For what? For being alive? For being in this position that he didn't choose. Somebody chose to put him in this life and force him to go through this. And that's what these three fools do to this one innocent baby who couldn't speak for himself nor defend himself against the, the tyranny of his weak ass caretakers. The boy also had multiple fractures to his jaw and chin that were in various stages of healing, a telltale sign of long-term physical abuse. Cruz knew about this, that there was abuse going on, and she was aware of the state of that that the state could prove, and she failed to report any of, uh, any of that abuse to anybody, to law enforcement or CYFD, Brattenburg said. The presiding judge did not sentence Cruz on Wednesday or schedule a date for her formal sentencing, but we pretty much know she's looking at 22 years. So we hope that she gets that and maybe more. Let me give you guys the fair usage. I got a couple of news videos. If y'all hit that thumbs up and share this, that'll help us out quite a bit. Here we go. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. If you guys would do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It'll share this video. More, a lot of people really didn't know that this was actually an update. So that'll help share this story. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Get that off the screen. Here we go. News video. Let's get it. The autopsy report for a four-year-old Albuquerque boy who was beaten to death has been released, and it shows the abuse was not a one-time thing. James Dunkley was rushed to the hospital on December 10th after his mother's roommate, Zarek Marquez, claimed he had tripped over the boy. Then the boy hit his head. Dunkley was pronounced dead a short time later. We've reported that investigators found bruises and cuts all over the boy's body, along with a lacerated liver and pancreas, bruising on the lungs and intestines, a lot of blood in the abdomen, and a skull fracture. But a newly released autopsy report also shows the boy had three fractures on his jaw and chin, which were already in a healing stage. As we've reported, CYFD had documented previous allegations of abuse perpetrated by the defendant, and there was a safety plan in place where James was not supposed to be cared for by Marquez. 
but CYFD would not tell us what those allegations, prior allegations, were. Now, Marquez is scheduled to go to trial next year for child abuse resulting in death. The autopsy report shows cause of death is blunt head and torso trauma. It is classified as a homicide. Good evening. The man charged with beating four-year-old James Dunkley to death admitted to the crime when he pled guilty. But now he wants to change his mind and back out of the plea deal. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with the latest. How do you plea regarding the charge? Guilty. That was Derek Marquez at the end of March, pleading guilty to intentional child abuse resulting in death in the murder of James Dunkley. The four-year-old was found beaten to death at Marquez's apartment near Louisiana and Central in December 2019. James and his mom were staying at Marquez's place, and the boy looked up to him. This is what Marquez told police at the scene. <laughs> The autopsy confirmed he'd been abused for months. Marquez was taken into custody months later. I'm placing you under arrest, okay? In the plea agreement Marquez originally took in March, he agreed to serve a life sentence, which comes with the possibility of parole after 30 years. Because of his conduct by beating him, over a matter of months and resulting in at least 50 different injuries to James Dunkley that he caused the death of James Dunkley. But according to the motion filed to withdraw his plea, Marquez claims he thought he'd be released after 30 years and that his attorney at the time did not explain that parole is only a possibility. The state filed a 29-page response to Marquez's motion, stating there was no indication that Marquez misunderstood or was unaware of the terms of the plea agreement. The state is asking the court to deny the move and proceed to sentencing. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. Zarek Marquez's new attorney declined to comment on this motion to withdraw his guilty plea. His next hearing is set for September 27th. For months, our Target 7 team has been reporting on the case of James Dunkley Cruz. He is the four-year-old boy who died in the hands of his mother's roommate in 2019 after alleged oversight by... At 1.37 p.m. today in District Courtroom 702, Krista Cruz appeared before Judge Stan Whitaker. The prosecution presented a plea for crew. I just noticed how big she is. Look at this. Big nasty ass, abusive ass mother. At 1.37 p.m. today in district court. Golly. Boy, it looked like she got pillows underneath her shirt, under the back of her shirt. Just lumps and rolls and logs of meat. Just bags of fat and just disgustingness. And this is allegedly a mother. Allegedly. What kind of mother would allow her child to be beat to death and probably participated in it? It's disgusting. And I feel like there's too many people that only have children to collect benefits off of those children. They do not love them. None of these people did. The only reason they dealt with that child is because they were probably getting some type of benefits. We call that hashtag babies for benefits over here at the AFC. Just saying. It's a big nasty girl right there. Pretty sure she smells pretty bad. 702, Krista Cruz appeared before Judge Stan Whitaker. The prosecution presented a plea for Cruz. The defendant will be pleading guilty to abandonment of a child under 13, resulting in death. And before people come out talk about I'm fat shaming, I'm not fat shaming, I'm just shaming bad parents, right? There's a big difference. People talk about, Jay, you're not the picture of health. No, I'm not, but I ain't killing kids. How about that? Never think about that, do you? Always so quick to want to take up for some bullshit. But don't really get the point that we're talking about what people are doing to our babies. Defenseless children. Boy, was four years old. What is he supposed to do against three parents who look like they all are over, what, I don't know, 315 pounds apiece? Which is a lesser included of count one of the indictment. And then three counts that were filed in the information. Two counts of child abuse. 
no death or great bodily harm, and a failure to report child abuse or neglect. Prosecutors then laid out what they knew about the case, including the abuse James reported to employees at an urgent care back in 2019. Our Target 7 team has reported on the body camera video from that day. There was abuse going on that she was aware of that the state could prove and that she failed to report any of that abuse to anybody, to law enforcement or to CYFD. Cruz's attorney told the judge he believed if the case went to trial, she could be found guilty. Judge, the state could certainly present that evidence. I think we could successfully rebut some of those facts, but not all of them, Judge. And I think clearly it would go to a jury, uh, and I think there'd be more than enough information to find Ms. Cruz guilty. Cruz then waived her right to a trial and pled to all charges. I plead as part of the first charge. I need to hear it. It's all Guilty. Cruz faces up to 22 years behind bars as a result of her plea. The prosecution said after court today, this is a step towards justice. His mom was supposed to protect him, and she did the opposite of that. Um, just the recognition um, and just knowing that she is being held responsible is what's important. So of course, we always want the max, but sometimes there's alternative solutions and. That is a big, nasty woman. I'm sorry, man. But my whole thing is I find it just the most ironic thing ever, how these people always end up in front of the judge and they want to cry and they want to, oh my God, I can't believe I'm, I'm gonna have to go to jail for real. I'm going to have to go to jail. I, I, I helped participate in a murder and didn't say anything. It was my baby. But now I got to do prison time. But you know what's funny? They're only crying because they have to face discipline for being bad parents. So I think that makes them very selfish. I think you ought to stand up there, stand on, stand on your platform, Stand up for what you did and just take it. Period. Sitting there crying. What you what you want to sob and cry for now? James Dunkley Cruz was just four years old when he was brutally beaten to death in 2019. He was at the hands of his own mother's roommate, Zarek Marquez. He's now serving life in prison for his role in the little boy's death. But Marquez did not act alone. James's mother is owning up to her role in his death. Today, Krista Cruz reached a deal with prosecutors. She pleaded guilty to four charges related to his death, admitting she failed to do what mothers are supposed to, protect our children. Brittany Costello breaks down the deal from district court. This deal actually increases the prison time Krista Cruz is facing. The district attorney's office says it's been a long time coming and it should absolutely send a message that child abuse is taken seriously. Krista Cruz was in court Wednesday. He was severely abused continuously leading up to the day of his death. Where prosecutors outlined her role in her own child's horrific death. Four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz was found beaten to death in December 2019 when he was... I want to call out a couple of things. Y'all said that was really, really poignant, and I really believe that. I really, really do believe that. Those tears are for herself, I agree. And you said her son cried and nobody cared. Why should anybody care about her tears? That's somebody in the chat that said that. And Sarah, I 100% agree with you. If you really, really put it into perspective, that's the perfect perspective. She want to cry now and somebody's supposed to care when she's standing up in front of the judge. But while that baby was crying day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year of his short little bitty life, short little bitty four year old life. Thank you. Hashtag period. Who you, you guys remember that off of um, Antoine Fisher, the movie? I've used that reference before. Who will cry for the little boy? That poem that Antoine Fisher wrote, which I thought was really, really cool. And, it, and I think it fits even in this situation. Who will cry for the little boy? They're crying for themselves, but nobody cried for four-year-old James Dunkley. Isn't that something?
left alone with Cruz's roommate, Zarek Marquez. Marquez admitted to killing him just last year. But clearly it was Mr. Marquez who caused James's death, Judge. I think the state's theory in this case um, is that she knew or should have known what was going on and we agree. Just months before James Dunkley Cruz was killed, he was taken to an urgent care where he disclosed abuse at the hands of his mother, her best friend, Pamela Esparza, and Zarek Marquez. CYFD told Cruz they could not go back to that home, but they did. James was killed just a short time later. James's case was the worst of the worst. It's the worst case I've ever been a part of. Um, but the most important case I've been a part of. Savannah brandenburg Coke says this plea deal is a reflection of that. Cruz pleaded guilty to four different charges, lesser charges than indicted, but charges that could actually result in more prison time. Nothing's ever going to be enough for the brutality that James went through. His mom was supposed to protect him. Cruz is facing anywhere between zero and 22 years in prison. Sentencing has been set for about 60 days out. In the meantime, the trial for the third and final defendant in this case is set for next month. Brittany Costello, KOB4. And somebody asked, like, why? Why would they do this? There's nothing a four-year-old child can ever do to deserve broken, to have multiple fractures in your jaw, broken jaw, broken arm, damaged arm, lacerations, black eyes, bruises, lacerated livers. There's no amount of uh, failed potty training that could cause a person to get this level of worked up. There's no level of a child being disrespectful to work themselves up to a level like this. There's no level of a child being disrespectful. If you think about it, because I've been a parent for a long time now, 16 years now, and probably even before that, so before I had my daughter, I had been a parent to other kids. You know, obviously I dated women, and when you date women, there's just a good likelihood they're going to have kids. So I've been around kids for a long time, and I've raised many different kids. From babies to two-year-olds to four-year-olds to even being older than that. And one thing that I can tell you is there is never anything that any child can do to, to, to get to a point like this. There can never be a result like this. It can never end like this. It can never start like this. There can never be this level of rage around children. To me, that signifies people that should not be in our society, let alone being around kids. And boy, I almost said, boy, I definitely almost said something that was going to get me flagged. The, the words that I was about to use would have got me flagged and probably would have got my channel taken down. So let me rephrase and not say what I was about to say. They gave these two fucking idiots an opportunity not to come back to this house. Just don't come back. They decided, no, nah, we's going to come back anyway. That was your exit plan. Sometimes the man above will show you the door. And if you don't walk through that damn thing, then it's now your responsibility for making that decision. And now you're going to be held liable for that when you end up at the gates of hell. Because that's exactly where all three. Who almost said it again. That's where all three of these badass parents are going. All three of these idiots. The three stank tears. They're going to meet their judgment in hell. They had an opportunity to just not come back, which could have meant that the boy might have been able to at least survive his mother. But we still don't know that. But they came back. They ignored that door that was open, that opportunity for them to walk through that door and go a different direction. And instead of going at that left, at the fork in the road, they went right. It was their choice and they got to suffer for that. And I hope 
that they never find a way out of this out of this jail system, prison prison system, and that they have to do every bit of time that they're given. To four-year-old James Dunkley, baby boy, is still really not getting any justice. Until this final case closes, young prince, R.I.P. So I'm thankful that at least the courts are doing what they're supposed to do. If you see something, don't say something. You absolutely should go to jail, especially when it ends up with a death of a little baby. But thank you guys so much for listening. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thank you.